Welcome to YouTube Studio. In this video, you will learn how to create subtitles using YouTube. I have uploaded a sample video here in YouTube Studio. That's one tab. The other tab is my script, my voiceover script. It's just a short sample video of 30 seconds and I'll be using this script to create captions. In YouTube Studio, you click the subtitles menu first. When you've gone to this menu, you will see that you have the option to add new subtitles. Now you are sent to an older part of YouTube where you can create subtitles in three different ways. But let's begin by actually watching the video we'll be working with. Innovation is required. Sustainbase simply provides you the perfect innovation event management tool, increasing the likelihood of tangible solutions. You can easily handle planning and execution, recruit and match participants with each other, and interact with all stakeholders. Try the free version at sustainbase.com. Awesome. That's the video we'll be creating subtitles for right now using YouTube's own tool. YouTube offers you three different ways of creating subtitles for your video. The first one is where you upload a subtitle file. We don't have that yet. So that is what we are going to create. Then you can uh, copy paste your text in and let YouTube do the timing or you can create the whole thing from scratch where you do the timing yourself. For such a short video, I would actually always do everything by myself with the timing and all, but I want to show you the auto sync just to uh, show you how it works. So the automatic sync function is option number two. And when you click that, you will see a field where you can paste in your video scripts. So you take the whole piece of text, copy that, and paste it into the field. And um, then you just click the blue button and let YouTube do the syncing between the text and what's happening in the video for you. That's gonna take a little while. After a little bit of spinning, we can uh, take a first look at how YouTube handles this automatic sync between the text we just pasted and the sound in the video. Innovation is required. Sustainbase simply provides you the perfect innovation event management tool, increasing the likelihood of tangible solutions. You can easily handle planning and execution, recruit and match participants with each other, and interact with all stakeholders. Try the free version at sustainbase.com. So that's actually pretty impressive and very close to something we could use right out of the box, so to say. There was one sentence that wasn't quite right, but we could just take the last part of that and move it to where we want it to be. So as you can see, it's not perfect, but it saves you a lot of time by giving you a head start by doing this automatic sync. Besides adjusting the text, you also have to adjust the timing of the text just a little bit. Let's give it another spin and see how it looks. Innovation is required. Sustainbase simply provides you the perfect innovation event management tool. What YouTube does is that they analyze the sound waves. You can see the dark gray sound waves at the bottom and they compare that to the text. This is one way of doing it, but I actually do prefer doing everything by myself the first time around. Let's look into how that works. We'll just delete this draft we just made so there's no subtitles. We'll go all the way back to the beginning and give it another go with a third option called create new subtitles or closed captions. When we click that third button, we actually see the same as we saw before, but just without the automatic inputs. The timing has been auto-generated, but there's no text like before. YouTube really wants to help you, so they create these empty blocks that match the sound waves, so you have something to go with. But I actually do prefer to erase, delete all these boxes and start from scratch. I like to just close all these extra information boxes to have a clean workspace. The workflow for creating subtitles will be to listen back to a part of the video and then enter the text. Innovation is required. After a sentence, you hit pause and you go to your script. You copy the text that was just being narrated in the video and input it into the text field. Add it by clicking plus. Now you added the first part of the subtitles and that will be added right behind the cursor. Now you want to work with the timing of the sentence you just added. A small tip that took me a while to learn is that the timing is defined by the white box. The blue bars in the front and the back of that clip is just for you to see where you can drag. 
So look at the sound waves and see if you can match the beginning of the white box to where the sound waves start and end. The goal is to place the white box on top of the gray sound waves. Innovation is required. A small workflow tip is to use the spacebar to start and stop the video. Base simply provides you also use the sound waves to see where the next sentence starts. Sustain Base simply provides you the perfect innovation event management tool, increasing the like. As you can see, there's a small valley in the sound waves, and that is where there is a, a breath, a pause. Event management tool. And that is where we will stop the video and add the next sentence. You don't want to make the sentences too long because then they will stack on top of each other. So we'll start with the first half here. Click the plus to add the sentence and adjust the timing like we did before. Adjust the timing of the subtitles to match the timing of the narration. And listen back. Sustain Base simply provides you the perfect innovation event management tool. And the last part. Increasing the likelihood of tangible solutions. You always want the red cursor to be at the end of the sentence you want to add. And like before, I will go to the script, copy the last part of the sentence and add that. So let's just do it real quick. I'm sure you kind of get the hang of it now. You can easily handle planning and execution. Now you can see why it's really handy to have the scripts for creating these subtitles so you don't have to write out the whole thing again. Recruit and match participants with each other. That was a nice short one, but you can have them maybe twice as long as this with no problem. And interact with all stakeholders. If you include too many words in one subtitle box, they will stack on top of each other and take up too much space in the video frame. Try the free version at sustainbase.com. That was the final call to action, and that is all we have left before we are done with the subtitles. Now we have all the text. That was the rough run through. Now we want to go through it all and adjust the timing. Just use your eyes to begin with. See how you can align the beginning and end of the white boxes to the gray sound waves. Remember that the blue parts are not really part of the subtitle box. So when the blue color starts is not when the subtitles start. So you wanna keep that in mind when you do the timing. You can just move the cursor away from the white box and the blue parts will disappear so you can more easily see where the white box begins and ends. And now we're pretty close to being done. Let's give it another spin and see if it's perfect. Innovation is required. Sustain Base simply provides you the perfect innovation event management tool, increasing the likelihood of tangible solutions. You can easily handle planning and execution, recruit and match participants with each other, and interact with all stakeholders. Try the free version at sustainbase.com. Yes, amazing. It's almost perfect now. Remember to leave a little bit of room between the white boxes. That's more TV-like, so they don't overlap. That looks messy. If you time the sentences back to back, the subtitle will kind of just hang there constantly. Let me just show you how that looks. Try the free version at sustain base. Just put in that extra minute to make it really look professional and give it that little breather in between the sentences. Now save your amazing changes, give YouTube a second or two to think, see the subtitles are published. What you want to do now is actually enter back into the editor by clicking the, the publish subtitles button. What? More work? No, don't worry. Click the actions button, go down to the download menu and choose .srt. In less than a second, a .srt file has been created and it is now downloaded on your computer. In order for social platforms like LinkedIn and Facebook to understand what language this SRT file is in, you have to open it and rename it. The magical naming formula is filename.language underscore country dot SRT. I've shared a link with you with all the language and country codes. So an SRT file is really just a text file with some timestamps and the sentence that is shown at this specific time. Remember to save your file now that you've given it a new name. Congratulations, you're done. And remember, innovation is required.